आज का आज का टारगेट कितना है 10000 लाइक कौन करेक्ट 20 टू 25 है मिनिमम या होपफुली इमेजिन 1 मिलियन व्यूअरशिप इन अंडर 60 मोमेंट्स गेम है दैट्स क्रेजी एक्चुअली या हट्स फ्रिकिंग क्रेजी मैन It's a clash of titans, a battle of supremacy, and a showcase of the finest talent in South Asian women's football.
So brace yourselves for a spectacle of skill, determination as the two giants collide on the grand stage of the SAF Women's Championship Final. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the pinnacle of women's football in South Asia. Today, history will be made as the two powerhouses clash in this field for being the champions. India, one of the most successful teams of this tournament. They have been the winners twice in this tournament. In this level, as Bangladesh has been the champion in 2017, and they came second in 2023, where Russia were the winners. And India were not able to properly perform in the last tournament. If you talk about the head to heads, these two sides have met six times in total. Where Bangladesh have won thrice. We have the lineup of Bangladesh here. Number 22, MST Yersin Begum. Number 5, Arpita Vishwas, the captain. Number 2, Shivli Roy. Number 3, Arif Akhtar. Number 4, Mariam Bintahana. Number 6, Kranuching Marma. Number 7, Sati Munda. Number 9, Alpi Akhtar. Number 10, Suyunui Marma. Number 11, Fatima Akhtar. Number 20, Sauravi Akanda Preeti. That was the lineup of Bangladesh. Now, for India, we have the lineup as following. Number 1, goalkeeper Muni. Number 11, captain. Shweta Rani. Number 2, Divyani Linda. Number 3, Lema. Elena Devi Sarang Them, number four, Elizabeth Lakra, number five, Lucas Shimunda, number six, Thandamai Baske, number eight, Monikila Shulai, number nine, Anushka Kumari, number ten, Nira Chan, and number fourteen, Pearl Fernandez. So, as I was saying, these two sides have met six times, where Bangladesh has won three times, and India has only won once in this age group, where there have been two draws, six close, six goals scored by the Bangladeshi team. In this age level and three goals by the Indian team. The last time these two sides met there was in this tournament. The Bangladesh were the victors. You can see the Tiranga as well as the Bangladesh national flag. This is going to be a feisty affair at the Enfa Stadium today. We're live from Sportsworks. You're watching live from Sportsworks YouTube channel. I'm Avin of Josie in the commentary box. And you're watching Sportsworks YouTube channel. You can kindly subscribe. So, yes, with that, we have the final. Among us, after six games and 32 goals, with an average of 5.33 goals per match, this is the final, ladies and gentlemen. We have come to the final. <coughs> Who will be clinching that glittering, beautiful trophy? That is the question. With that in mind, both of the teams will be vying, will be giving their best. Shweta with the cross inside the box. A header could be there. Pearl Fernandez. Could have been the first goal there by the Goa girl. She tried to connect with it. But she, didn't, she couldn't connect properly. It's a clash between the titans as we can see. Both of the biggest team. One of the biggest teams in South Asia. India and Bangladesh. Against each other in the final once again in this calendar. You can hear the Bangladesh fans, and that is going to be India from the right hand side. Neera Chanu was bursting forward from the right hand side. Just to realize the flag had already been raised by the assistant referee. A good idea there by Sandamani Baske. She has a wonderful vision. She has been the orchestrator in chief in this team. And she will be vital today as well. And this is a long lifted ball towards the D box of India. Munni will be relaxed to control it. Talking about the route to the final, India defeated Bhutan in the first match. It was a 7 0 match for India. And Shweta Rani, Pal Fernandez, Anushka, and Anvita were in the score sheet. And they came against the mighty Bangladesh team, where Bangladesh were the victors. The game was on 5th March, so five days ago from today. And the last game of India was against the host nation Nepal, where India were. The winners with a 10-goal margin. 10-0 was the scoreline. 
That is astonishing. And today, 10th of March, we are having the final. Bangladesh had a 100% record in this tournament, and this was a cross from the right hand side straight to the goalkeeper. As you can see, Anushka, one of the highest scorers, she has five goals. Nakanda Preeti has five goals as well. Both of the players are with five goals each. It's not only about the battle of the nation, it's about the battle of the two players as well. Anushka and Nakanda Preeti, they are against each other for the highest scorer's trophy. As we can see, the Golden Boot, who will be the highest scorer today. That is the question as well. We can see Vivi Thomas, the coach of India. He was a former player of India. He has been the assistant coach of the national team as well. Bibi Thomas and also the legendary figure in Bangladeshi football. He came safe in Bari T2. He has been in Bangladeshi football fraternity for a while now. It's India trying to move ahead. Anushka with the ball now. Anushka with the shot and a wonderful goal. Stupendous, wonderful start there by the Indian girls. And this is the very first goal of the final. It's none other than the number nine, Anushka Kumari. And as I was saying, this is going to be a battle between the players as well. The individual accolade. And Anushka has an upper edge now. You can just see her pace, her determination as well as that accuracy spot on absolutely staggering just look at that go just look at that go anushka with the shot india are ahead in the first five minutes bangladesh will be looking forward to reply and this has been an outstanding start to the match of the saf under 16 women's championship in Lalitpur Nepal. Anushka was the goal scorer. Anushka Kumari once again. The sixth goal for her in this tournament. And she is definitely the race. She has the upper hand. Now it's Akanda Pidi trying to go forward from the right hand side. It's Sati Munda. Sati showing her skills once again. The Bangladeshi team will not give up. They will fight for it against their arch rivals. And you can just smell it in the air. You can just see that in their eyes. Bangladesh will be coming forward once again. Pearl Fernandez with the ball. Beating three players. Bangladesh with the ball. A wonderful st start there by the Indian team. The last time these two sides met in this tournament, in the group stages, Bangladesh were the victors. And they scored the very first, first goal. And that was the cutting edge. And today, India has scored the very first goal. And that might be a good advantage in the first five minutes. Anushka with a wonderful time run as well as the finishing. Now, Bangladesh coming forward. Arifa. Suini Mohamed. Suini with the cross. Would be dangerous. Akanda Piti was already there. India has lost only one match in this tournament and that was against Bangladesh whereas Bangladesh has not lost a single game in this tournament they've scored 11 goals and conceded one they have been brightest team in this tournament so far that is 
The patient today as well. Bangladesh will be trying to come back as well. Once again. Baby Thomas looks a little bit agitated. He knows the Bangladesh team will not be giving up. They will be fighting back. And there is the danger. Of the little tigresses of Bangladesh. India, on the other hand, will be cautious. They're playing with a 4 4 2. And in the defense, they might go in a 4 1 4 1. The Anushka Kumari will be coming back as a number 10 or as a midfielder. You're watching this live broadcast from Sportsworks YouTube channel. You can kindly subscribe to our channel to get all the live broadcasts, all the contents, all the moments from SAF tournaments all across South Asia. This time we're here at Lalitpur, Nepal. In the heart of Nepali football, Satubatu. Now India trying to go forward as well. Pearl Fernandez chasing the ball easily connected by Yerzan Begum. Yerzan has only conceded one goal in this entire tournament, and that was against India. And that was against Anushka, who scored a goal against Bangladesh in the group stage match. Anushka is the goal scorer once, once again, she's the goal scorer. Dangerous player, Anushka Kumari. She has six goals in total and definitely a top contender for the highest goal scorer. Now again, it's India trying to go forward. A little bit of lack of communication. Uh, the chemistry was good. The understanding was good. These girls who have been training for a while in the BFF Academy. Some of the girls have already represented in the under-17 level. Saravya Kandapiti played the under-17 qualification qualifier as well as Arpita Vishwas, the captain, and Thuinui Morma. These three players have already represented in the under-17 level. Thuinui was also the goal scorer in the last SAF under-17 tournament. The Bangladesh were only second to Russia. Russia were the champions in 2023 under-17 SAF women's. And they were invited as the invitee team special invitation to the European giant team and that very tournament was in collaboration with UEFA as Bangladesh FA was in collaboration with UEFA the tournament was a big success this time it's a long ball there by Bangladesh midfielder Munni has been in the goal. She was put on goal after India lost to Bangladesh. In the last game against was against the pass. She didn't concede any goal. Munni comes forward, collect the ball, easily collected there by Indian number one, Munni. The Bali team might not have been a good test there for the Indian goalkeeper. Today might be the biggest test of her life, of her life. Up until now, at least. Maybe Thomas. Mixed feelings, maybe he may be happy, but he knows the danger from the Bangladesh team. Once again, from the right hand side, it's going to be India attacking. Vivyani trying to go forward. Vianney with the pass. Fandamani Baski trying to find Ira Chanu. Might need to try some new tricks. AKM Seful Baritito. Experienced coach of Bangladesh. He has been the coach of 
Different teams in Bangladesh Premier League: Sheikh Jamal, Abhani, Mohammed, Mohammed in Sporting, Sheikh Russell. And she, he has also been a member of the national team in 2010. In the coaching department, that is. Once again, India trying to go forward. Shweta trying to find her teammate, Anushka. Looks ever so bright. Look at that touch. Look at that touch from Anushka. Paul Fernandez trying to get the ball. Paul Fernandez with a shot over the crossbar. And this could have been the second goal for India. Bit of confusion there in the defense. Uh, Rifa might have done a little bit better. Pearl trying to pounce on to the opportunity just to get disappointed. Pearl Fernandez. She's already scored four goals in this tournament. She is also in the race. That is, if she can score three goals now, she will overcome Anushka. She has to score three goals to go in front in the top scorer's list. She would be happy. Her teammate will be taking the honors. But it's a team game. And it's the win that matters the most. Once again, Bangladesh trying to attack. The flag has already been raised. The referee for today is Maya Lama from Nepal. She has been one of the most experienced referees in this age group and in different women's tournament as well. Also, we have the first assistant referee from Nepal as well, Marina Dimal and Sunam Belden. is another assistant referee for today and as well as we have Meera Damang from Nepal a good moment for the officiating team as well India gets the opportunity Shweta trying to get it in the volley but she couldn't connect with the ball properly Shweta Rani is definitely a dangerous player and her left foot is as strong as as it could be but this time she couldn't catch it properly the captain of the indian team shweta rani three of the match officials are from Nepal and one is from Bhutan, Sunam Palden. As well as the match commissioner who's from Bhutan, Bindu Dorji. And the referee assessor is from Nepal, Vina Sresta. Once again, with the long ball, Bangladesh trying to go forward. But it will be an easy catch for Munni. As you can see, the spectators enjoying the match. We have a majority of Bangladeshi supporters here. Bangladesh trying to go forward. Referee Mahalama stops it right there. It's going to be an advantage for India from the free kick. India who are champions twice in this age group. They were the champions in 2018 and 2019. This time they want the third tournament. They want to do a hat trick of this tournament. As, look, as India is looking for the third, Bangladesh is looking for their second. The Bangladeshi team have won this tournament in 2017, where they defeated India in the final. Anushka once again. Anushka with the shot. This time, it's an easy catch there for. The goalkeeper, Yerzan Begum. Shweta trying to go forward. Shweta is a little behind. The goalkeeper easily collected it. Bangladesh getting the ball again. Bangladesh moving forward. 
with some intricate passes. Arifa with a good pass. Akanda Preeti, Sati Munda connecting other Bangladeshi players, but then again, it's intervened there. BB Thomas looks disappointed with the team. He knows that they could have done better. The Bangladeshi team are strong as well. Bangladesh trying to get forward. Anushka with the ball. She goes down. It's a free kick for India. 18 minutes gone. India leading by one goal from Anushka in the first five minutes. Good screening there. With body balance. Alpi was a bit desperate to get the ball. Alpi Akhtar. India trying to go forward. Will be an easy catch for the goalkeeper. Yearzan will be put on test a couple of times. That we can say. More than a couple of times maybe. India trying to go forward. Trying to find a striking partner. Anushka. Anushka looks like a really good talent playing as the shadow striker just behind Pearl Fernandez. She has that freedom to roam around as well. Sometimes she joins the midfield as well and creates an overload in the midfield. That has been the defining factor as well. The quality of Anushka on the ball, and especially her goals. Six goals total in this, in this entire tournament. Definitely a contender for that golden boot, Anushka. Once again, <laughs> trying to go forward is Bangladesh. India are on the back foot right now. You can see, you can just see that they are not comfortable, as they know Bangladesh might come forward any time. Any moment they can pounce on. That is the quality of the Bangladeshi team. Suini trying to gather the ball. Shweta. Shweta with the cross. Trying to find Nira Chanu in the right wing. Trying to go forward. Akanda Preeti with the pace. Munni comes forward. Good goalkeeping. Playing as the sweeper keeper, the Indian goalkeeper. Nira Chanu, another player who can be dangerous for the Bangladeshi team. She missed out on the match. Against Nepal. But let's say she was not in the starting 11. And now, it's going to be a free kick for India once again. From the right, it's Vianney Linda with a cross. Easy for the goalkeeper of Bangladesh. Years and Begum. She has been a wonderful custodian. Only conceded one in the past six. Or let's say in the past three matches for Bangladesh. Srinui trying to push it forward. India. Look to be the team in, in control. Anushka from the right hand side. Anushka. Good touch there from Anushka. Across there. And this is going to be a corner for India once again. You can just see that Anushka is everywhere. She's in the wing. She's in the midfield. She's in the striking position. It's all Anushka here. This, could, this can be another Anushka show today in the final. And she has been the most vital player. In this Indian team. Shweta with the cross once again. Could be a header. And narrowly missed there by the Indian team. Anushka as well as Pearl Fernandez was there. Were there in the tee box. A good cross there by the captain. Could have connected. Oh. That was closed by Anushka. Maybe her height deceived her a little bit.
This is going to be a wonderful final. Something tells me. You don't have to be an enormously talented analyst to tell that. You can just say by the vibe of the game. By the mood in this game. This is the SAF Under-16 Women's Championship which started from 1st of March and we've reached the pinnacle, the final. A bad clearance there by the Bangladeshi defender, Shweta Rani. Tries to re regain the ball from the defender. Against Nepal. She was excellent as well from the left hand side. It's Bangladesh once again. Bangladesh need a little bit of motivation there. Might be a push there by their coach. He came Saiful Bari Titu. He has been one of the most experienced coaches in Bangladesh. In men's football as well as in women's. This is a cross in the channel for Anushka, perhaps. Suinui lets it go out of the ground, out of the line. And it's going to be a goal kick. <coughs> India look to be the stronger team by far as they have maximum number of ball. And definitely it's A good tactics there by the coach B.B. Thomas who was a former national player of the Indian national team and he also won multiple tournaments as well. Also, he was the assistant coach of the under-23 team in the World Cup qualifiers as well as the under-17 AFC preparation event team BP Thomas is an excellent coach as you can see in the final as well his team are leading with one goal also with a good game play trying to go forward is Pearl Fernandez while trying to find a teammate Anushka Trying to find her teammate with the first touch, Anushka Kumari, but couldn't manage to do so. Neera Chanu wins the ball. Or perhaps not. The referee says play on. Could be dangerous for the Indian defense. Akanda Preeti. Saravi Akanda Preeti, she herself is with five goals and can be challenging Anushka for the golden boot. You can see Alpi trying to dribble past the Indian defender. It's going to be a throw in for Bangladesh from the left hand side. Akanda Preeti, once again, you can see her pace, her determination. Saravi. Trying to get the ball. But the Indian defender was a little bit better in that very moment. Saravi Akanda Preeti with five goals in the past three matches. Once again, Saravi Akanda Preeti tries to go forward. One of the members of the under-17 team which went on to play the under-17 Asian qualifiers. One of the three most experienced players in this team, the number 20, Saravi Akanda Preeti. You can just see how happy they are, they are to be here. Look just what it means to them. We are always praising the Bangladeshi support. The supporters, they are everywhere supporting their team. 
trying to be the part of the team, being the 12th man. That has also been the reason why Bangladesh is doing so good in football nowadays. You need that extra bit of push there by the fans as well. The fans have definitely pushed the players to their limit. A little disappointed maybe the Bangladeshi coach. It's going to be a throw-in from the right hand side for Bangladesh. It's Arif Akhtar. Arifa throws it to the captain, Arpita. Bangladesh look dangerous. Thuinui switches on to the left hand side. Just cleared by Elizabeth Lakra. Elizabeth and Elena Devi have a wonderful partnership. Their chemistry have been evident in the games they have played. But in the game against Bangladesh, some things might have gone wrong as they conceded three goals. Once again, Bangladesh trying to go forward. Anushka clearing the ball. Sinui Moema. Indian defense look resolute today. They are not letting the Bangladeshi players play properly with that bit of freedom. You can just see Diviani Linda trying to battle for the ball. Viviani Linda clears it. Might have been a foul. Suinui went down. Bangladesh comes forward with the captain Arpita Bishwas. Arpita with the pass there for Alpi Akhtar. Could have been a free kick there for the Bangladeshi team. The referee says no once again. This time she blows the whistle. And the supporters are definitely happy. In fact, both set of supporters are not happy. As one, one of their players were down in the ground. They went down. Just see that energy in the Bangladeshi supporters. You're here in Lalitpur, Nepal. And with that number, that enormous number, they are here to support their team. That is a very, very good sign for Bangladeshi football. We have to praise their football craze. That is just what happened. Srini Morma with a 50-50 clash with Sundamani Vasque perhaps. Srini. Or maybe that was Kranuching Morma. Who fought for the ball. Half hour gone. India leading by one. Bangladesh need to deliver. They have not been able to Put in a single attempt off or on target. They have to do better. This is the final. They, if they want to be the champions once again, they have to fight hard. That against the arch rivals, India. If you see the growth of women's football in Bangladesh, that has been enormous. India coming from the left hand side. Pearl Fernandez putting pressure into the defense of Bangladesh. Indian team, Indian women's team is ranked 65th in the FIFA ranking as of 15th December 2023. That was the latest published rankings. Good touch there by Pearl Fernandez. Pearl going forward, trying to find her teammate. Pearl Fernandez. Bonifilia to the left. It's Shweta Rani. Shweta with the cross across the face of goal. Just lets it run out. He has a big we were talking about the progress of the Bangladeshi women's team. They just won the SAF Women's Championship, which happened in 2022. And that against the home team, Nepal. In the FIFA Women's Ranking, they are ranked 114th as of 15 December 2023. And that has been an upgrade from their last ranking with two places. The highest ever ranking was 100. December 2013. But they are back again. They are back with good performances. The Bangladeshi team. Come 
with the players like Sabina Khatun. Bangladesh is pushing forward. Once again, it's India trying to go forward. And it's a wonderful work there by the SAF team organizing this kind of tournaments, trying to find the likes of Sabina Khatun. The next Sabina Khatun, perhaps, in among these 11 players. The next Priyanka Devi from this Indian team. That has been a very, very good initiative by SAF playing and organizing these kind of tournaments. As you can see, a lot of Indian players are playing abroad as well. You have to admire the players like Manisha Kalyan, who is playing in Apollon Limassol in Cyprus. Of course, Jyoti Johan, who is playing in Dinamo Zagreb in Croatia. Somia Gugulot, who had a good trip in Europe as well. She's now playing in Gokulam Kerala team. Just age 23. These are the talents which came from age groups like these. And once again, India trying to go forward. Once again, it's safe there by the goalkeeper, Yerzan Begum. Of course, we have to name players like Sabina Khatun who has a big in impact in Bangladeshi women's football. She has 53 appearances for Bangladesh. The 30-year-old scoring 34 goals and she plays for kickstart in India in the Indian Professional Women's Football League. 35 minutes gone. India leading by one. If you're watching this live broadcast from Sportsworks YouTube channel. You can kindly subscribe to our channel. If you do want to follow SAF football broadcasts from all across South Asia. This time around we are in Nepal. We are in Lalitpur, the heart of football. Satovato. Where Nepali FA, All Nepal Football Association lies. In the background, we can see the and for hostel, where the young footballers in Nepal are groomed. And this ground is definitely a very holy place for the Nepali youngsters. And that can be for these girls playing in this field right now as well, as they are trying to win. The first trophy for them, perhaps. Most of the players have never won anything in the age groups. Once again, Anushka with the ball. Anushka trying to go forward. Anushka with the pass. Good pass there for Nira Chanu. Nira was lurking behind. Just for the Bangladeshi defender to clear it. Chanu Ching pushes it forward. Alpi Akhtar. From the left, it's Bangladesh trying to go forward. Kranuching Murma. With a cross there. Rupashri Munda trying to find Sauravi, perhaps. She's that top cold scorer. And this is this is going to be a throw in. BB Thomas instructs his coaching staff to be calm and composed. They have it in their grip. Up until now at least. And they have to be patient. Make no mistake. Be cautious enough. And now Bangladesh trying to go forward. The cross there by, by Shweta. Shweta Rani. 
who is one of the very few players who represented in the under 17 event. She's from Haryana. She played the under 17 Asian qualifier. Bangladesh are coming forward. It's Alti Akhtar, another dangerous striker there from Bangladesh. India moving forward now. Pandavani Baske controls the field. India are also trying to go forward. It's been an even matchup between the two teams the last time. On the 5th of March, Bangladesh were the winners. Indian players want their revenge. And that too in the final. And Akanda Preeti can come forward. So Ravi Akanda Preeti was just there. Munni came forward to collect it. Anushka. Good presence of mind there by Anushka Kumari. Can't tell much about her physical speed, but her intellectual speed, her speed of mind is really good. Anushka is a very, very clever player. And she has impacted this match with a fine, fine goal in the first five minutes. India leading, five minutes left for the first half. This can be an enormous lead in the final match. As, as we know, the teams are very, very much cautious in the final. The first goal will definitely give a good advantage. India have the advantage at, up until now. Bangladesh trying to come forward. Sauravi Akanda Preeti moving forward now. Sauravi with the ball. Good defense there by Divyani Linda. But this time, it's going to be an advantage for Bangladesh. On the left-hand side. Bangladesh are trying everything to level the match. To fight back, you can see Divyani clearing the ball. Alpi from the left. It's Rupashri with the cross. Akanda Preeti there. So Ravi Akandipriti was already lurking behind. She was already behind the defender. Paul Fernandez. Good screaming there by Paul Fernandez. It's been a physical matchup between the two strong teams of this tournament. Definitely the best two teams of this tournament. Without any doubt, India scored 10 goals against Nepal in the last match of the group stage. As the home team were humiliated in the final group stage match. Now it's Bangladesh again. There is hope for the Bangladeshi supporters. There is opportunities for the players as well. And this might be a fight back from the little Bangladeshi Tigers Tigresses perhaps Fatima Akhtar she scored from a free kick in the last game this time maybe to put in a cross Shweta with the cross it can be a dangerous ball there deflection and this will be another corner for Bangladesh Shweta will run across the ground to collect the ball. She's definitely the dead ball expert of this team. The set piece expert. Fatema can be dangerous from this these kind of situations. And she has been in the previous games as well. Fatema with the cross. A wonderful cross there. Another opportunity there for the Bangladeshi team. And this will count as an advantage. Fatema with a very, very dangerous ball. Above everyone. Munni saves it. Maybe this was a foul. As we already know, goalkeeper is given utmost priority in the D box. Whenever we have a situation like that. 
Now, Bangladesh is trying to go forward. Sadi Munda was already there. Paul Fernandez and Nira Chanu are changing the ball. Rupashri Munda clears it. Or perhaps passes it on to her defender, her teammate. And this is a throw in. Less than two minutes left for the end of the first half. Shuli Roy playing as a left back, the right footed defender. It has become a trend in the Bangladeshi teams to play a right footed player in the left back. Munni looks to have a clean sheet in this final. Nira Chanu chasing the ball can be dangerous for Bangladesh. Clearance there by the goalkeeper could have been a throw in, but the defender saves it. India trying to go forward. Divyani Linda wins the throw in once again. Maya Lama directs. For a throw in. Almost 45 minutes gone. Additional min minutes will be added. Definitely. Perhaps not a big number because there were not many interventions in the match, not many stoppages. Moving forward is India, Bonifilia Shulai, and it's going to be two minutes. The fourth official from Nepal, Meena Tamang, shows the board for two minutes. And now this is another throw-in, perhaps, for India. Yes, it's a throw-in for India. Diviani. It's Rupa Shrimunda in the left-hand side. Pearl Fernandez trying to move forward. Good physical battle there between Pearl Fernandez and Arifa Akhtar. Bonifilia Shulai. Divyani. It's Rupashri again. Rupashri Munda. Number five. Just look at Saravya Kandapridi. Her blistering pace can be a problem for any team. 45 minutes gone. One minute of the added two minutes. The referee blows the whistle. There might have been some problem. Arif Akhtar. It's going to be a throw in for Bangladesh from the right hand side. And that is the verdict. Arifa. Now Bangladesh trying to go forward. Kranuching Murma. She used to be a striker, the coach. Sefil Bari Titu converted her into a midfielder. And she has done a wonderful job in the midfield as well. A good physical presence with a good tactical game. There, the number six, Kranuching Murma. India trying to go forward. Good footwork there by. Rupashri Munda. Bangladesh are not giving up. They do not want to be in the deficit when they go inside their dressing room. They're giving everything not to be in that situation. Whereas India look cautious. They look resolute in the defense. Sati Munda push, pushes it forward and that's going to be the halftime whistle. From Maya Lama, the referee from Nepal. The half time in the final match. And Nushka Kumari has been. The difference maker. She has been the point of difference. India leading by one. Bangladesh will be giving a fight. Bangladesh who won the game against India in the group stages. India leading by one this time around. In the first half at least. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Sportsworks YouTube channel. You can kindly subscribe to our channel if you want more content of the SAF football all across South Asia. This time around, we're in Nepal, bringing you the SAF Under-16 Women's Championship. And in the final, we are here at the Anfa Complex, Battle, Lalitpur, Nepal. The halftime score is Bangladesh nil, India 1. Now it's time for us to go for a break. We'll be coming back after the break with the action-packed second half. In sports works, don't go anywhere.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Enfa Complex ground. We are here for the South Under 16 Women's Final. And this is the final match, second half. It's going to kick off now. And the point of difference has been Anushka Kumari. She is the highest scorer up until now at least. Anushka, that blistering run, one look into the second bar and boom. It's the first goal for India. Goalkeeper had no chance. Years and Begum was left stranded. India. And there's a substitution for India. It's an interesting call there by the Indian. Coach Gurleen Kaur Sindhu. Gurleen scored the goal against Nepal as well. Gurleen Kaur Sindhu. The team as a substitute is in the second half and she came a bigger part and she came in the first half and she scored in the 33rd and the 77th minute of the previous match against Nepal. The second half kicks off it's India in their sky blue and Bangladesh in their red jersey. You're watching this live from Sportsworks. I'm Marvin of Josie in the commentary box. And if you want to follow more contents of South Football, you can kindly subscribe to our channel, Sportsworks YouTube channel. And also you can hit the notification bell so that you can get noticed when we come live. Or bring you anything, any new content in our channel. It's now Bangladesh trying to go forward. Akanda Preeti. Saravi Akanda Preeti is one of the very few survivors of the under-17 tournament which happened in Bangladesh last time in this team and interestingly she was the goal scorer against India in the last tournament where she scored the winner in the 92nd minute can she do it again that is the question today so Ravi Akandapriti is definitely a dangerous dangerous player and she, ha she also has one eye for that golden boot and this is going to be a dangerous scenario for Bangladesh. Not a good clearance there by the Bangladeshi defender. Yeah. Trying to move forward is Shweta Rani. Jana Ching could clear it properly. Anushka, once again, you can just see the quality she possesses. Anushka Kumari taking on two defenders. She couldn't beat the third one. Let's look at that. A bit of Luis Suarez in her. That bit of dribbling. That low center of gravity. As well as that deadly eye for the goal. Anushka Kumari once again going forward. Anushka. Anushka with the cross this time. She slips at the vital, vital moment. Anushka Kumari. She has been a wonderful, wonderful player for the Indian team this time around. She scored three goals in the very first match against Bhutan. And she scored the only goal for India against Bangladesh. So Aviyakanda Preeti tries to find the team in the left-hand side. Alpi Akhtar was a little bit behind. Alpi Akhtar trying to receive the pass from her teammate. So Ravi couldn't calculate the weight of the ball, perhaps. Neera Chanu fighting for the ball. Neera Chanu trying to move forward is Neera. You can just see. They're trying to utilize every opportunity the Indian team. From the left hand side, it's India trying to go forward. Bangladesh. Between the back foot, you can see the pressure coming from the Indian forward lineup, the high intensity, the gagging pressing, as we call it. Mirachanu trying for the ball. Yeah. 
So Ravia Kandipriti trying to nutmeg the opposition defender Anushka. Trying to find a teammate. Alpi Akhtar. Good change of pace there by Alpi once again. She looks to be a dominant force in the Bangladeshi attack. Brief defending there by the Bangladeshi de defender just to give it away to the Indian midfielder. Neera Chanu. Good drop of the shoulder there by, ne by Neera Chanu but she couldn't find her teammate. This pass again there by Fatima. From the right hand side, it's Neera Chanu. The flag stays on. Neera with the cross. A good cross could have been there, but the cross was bad. Now it's going to be a substitution. Perhaps it's for Bangladesh. And yes, it's the number 18 coming on. Anna Mumu Bitti coming on for Kranuching Mama. Anna Mumu is another player who played under 17 tournament. Representing Bangladesh 2023. Anna Mumu Bitti was in the substitution bench last night. In the under 17 tournament, as Bangladesh played the under 17 tournament in 2023 in Bangladesh only. She was in the squad against India, but she was not placed. Now, today, she has the opportunity to prove herself. Anna Bitti, Anna Mulmo Bitti, the midfielder, she will come in place of Kranuching. bit of fresh legs needed for Bangladesh as they try to control this match they have a couple of talented players in their substitute bench as well most notably Momita Khatun who was very impactful in the last fixture against Bhutan once again they're trying to go forward Neera Chanu fighting for the ball Moving forward is Sauravya Kandapriti. Look at her long legs. She is as dangerous as she could be. Fatima Akhtar find, finding Alpi. It's going to be a throw in for Bangladesh. And this is another substitution. As I was saying, Momita Khatun comes on. She was a wonderful player for Bangladesh last time and they played against Bhutan in the group stages the last match Omita can be dangerous Omita with the cross this is a shot which went way above the crossbar and Munni seems to be relieved that cross was from Omita the jersey number 16 India look to be in the back foot for a while but they want to be in the driving seat they want to be in command of this match but Bangladesh will be fighting ever so hard they will be fighting even more in the second half the desperation will grow even more we might see a couple of physical battles in the middle park as well We can foresee that already. And now trying to go forward is India. As Gurleen won her team. A throw in from the left. 4 teams are competing in this tournament. And it's the final two teams who have made their way into the finals. The best two teams. Without any doubt, Bangladesh and India, the two powerhouses of South Asian football, as they are 
fighting in this battle for this trophy in the under 16 SAF championship. Good lean with her pace. India trying to go forward. Bangladesh could be dangerous here. So Ravi pushing forward. And the Indian defender is forced to make a clearance. Just look at him. Just look at him. The Bangladeshi coach. He is animated. In the touchline. He came Saiful Bari T2. He is definitely not satisfied by the amount of effort that the girls have put in today. And he will be pushing even harder. In the time to come, in the minutes to come. From the right hand side, it's Anushka. Just look at her go. Just look at her go. Anushka Kumari. Anushka with the shot this time. And the goalkeeper couldn't control it properly. This girl is something else. Remember this name. Anushka Kumari. You can note it down somewhere. This girl can be the next big thing. She has a lot of room to grow, both technically and physically. And that will be definitely a blessing for Indian women's football. We can already foresee that. Neera Chanu with the ball. Neera Chanu. The Bangladeshi defender clears it. Trying to move forward is India once again. Divyani Linda. From the right hand side, it's Anushka this time. She slips a little bit. Good control there by Linda. And a good pass as well. Maybe Nira couldn't understand it properly. But when she did, she was already offside. That was too late to con control the ball. Anushka, look at that place. Look at that. Miles ahead. From her defenders. But the execution, the final execution was not so good. Once again, India trying to go forward. It's Sandamoni Baske in the midfield. Bangladesh will come forward now. From the left hand side, it's Momida Khatun. Could have been a foul for Bangladesh's advantage, but this is a throw in. Anushka. Nira trying to move forward. Nira Chanu, Chanu trying to find her captain, Shweta. And it's a free kick for Bangladesh inside the center circle. You can see the replay. Shweta was a bit desperate to get the ball. She perhaps used her hand. Now it's going to be a free kick. Just behind the halfway line. Across inside the box. Nushka once again in the defense. And this time it's high foot there by the Bangladeshi player. And there is going to be a yellow card there for Suinui Murma, number 10. Or perhaps somebody else at Suinui Murma who seems to be Jeffrey's books. We can just confirm. Yes, it's Tuni Mama. Bangladesh on attack could be a dangerous attack. And the two forwards came in each other's way. Alpi Akhtar and Saurav Yakanda Preeti. Wonderful clearance there by Alena Devi. It's a hot afternoon at Lalitpur, Nepal. And it's getting heated up in the ground. Momita with the run in the left hand side. Momita Khatun. This cross was not as good as the proper one. 
Jesse number 10, Thuni Mama, gets the yellow card. That was, that was just minutes ago. Thuni Mama is in the referee's books and she has to be cautious now. She has to play this game carefully, Thuni Mama. She was one of the members of the under-17 team which played against India in Bangladesh in the under-17 under tournament in 2023. So Ravi asking for the ball. A good run in the channel by Alpi Akhtar. Elena Devi clears it. We're just progressing the hour mark. India still leading by one. Bangladesh is definitely, uh, desperately looking for a reply. You're watching li us live from Sportsbox YouTube channel. And you can subscribe to this channel. And once again, India can go forward. Good lean. Was already there. Just a bit more than 16,000 people watching us here. In the Sportsbook YouTube channel, you can kindly subscribe to our channel. If you want more contents of SAF football. From all across South Asia this time. It's Nepal, the destination, the Nepal, the venue. For the SAF Under-16 Women's Championship. We will be bringing you. Lots of tournaments in the days to come as well. And now it's going to be a throw-in. From Bangladesh, from the right-hand side. The temperature is rising. The desperation is rising as well. It's increasing as well in Bangladesh team. And Nushka. Our mark crossed. Baby Thomas looks animated. Disappointed is A.K.M. Seful Bariti to the head coach of Bangladesh Women's Under-16 team. Safety first there by the defender, centre-back Elena Devi. She has been a very dependable custodian in the centre-back position for India as Momita is creating havoc more and more from the left hand side. Elena has been influential in that part of the defense. Moving forward is Bangladesh from the right. It's Arif Akhtar trying to find the target. Striker. Bangladesh look to be in the driving seat now. They have been the better team in the past five or ten minutes. Trying to move forward is Bangladesh once again. From the left. Oh, could have been a good turn. There were Alpi. Alpi Akhtar, who was in the striking position. Bithi is there with the free kick. Anna Mubithi with the cross inside the box could be a dangerous in situation there for the Indian defense. Bithi plays as the anchor player, but this is a miss pass. Anushka can exploit the situation, this opportunity, but. This time the pass was not 
as good at, as it could have been. Now Bangladesh trying to come forward from the right hand side. It's Sathin Munda trying to go forward. It's the Bangladeshi team trying to go forward. Alpi Akhtar is disappointed with the pass. Definitely. She was expecting a better pass thereby. Anna Murmubithi has come on in the place of Kranu Ching Mama. She has been given the responsibility of the distributor. Going forward is Neera Chano from the right hand side. Neera trying to control the ball. Looking for her teammate. Finds Anushka. Anushka with the cross this time. It was not good enough but across the face of goal. Anushka Kumari putting in a cross. Not according to her standards but could have been a dangerous scenario there for the Bangladeshi team. Once again. Bangladesh move forward. Anna Bitti playing as the anchor point. Trying to distribute the balls into the channels, into the forward positions. 25 minutes left between India and the title and the trophy. The beautiful trophy of the SAF under 15 Women's Championship. India have put forward one hand in that trophy. Bangladesh need to fight back. They need to show their character. It's a foul and a free kick in favor of Bangladesh. They were the champions in 2017 and they can do it again. Little Bengal Tigresses might be biting back as the Indian team remain cautious. They remain composed. Mubiti trying to move forward. It's Alpi trying to find a teammate. Sati Munda, Sati was right there. Arif Akhtar with the ball now. Throw in for Bangladesh. Trying to move forward is Bangladesh once again. Arpita Bishwas, the captain. Saravi across there. And the Bangladesh defender, Anushka. Lost the ball. Alpi could have capitalized in that very moment. Anushka coming back into the midfield, supporting her teammates. It's a 4-1-4-1, perhaps for India. We're watching this live from Sportsworks YouTube channel. You can kindly subscribe to our channel for more contents. Of the SAF football in different levels. Now, it's an attack there by Bangladeshi team once again. It's going to be a throw-in from the right. Arifa was trying to push forward. Good defending there by Indian midfielder. Arpita Vishwas. Arpita. The pass for Suravi. Suravi couldn't control the ball properly. Moving forward is Neera Chanu once again, but Yazan will be trying to contribute in the possession as well. Bangladesh took to be the stronger team. The past 10 15 minutes, they have been a strong team, and yes, this is a free kick. The support is always there from the Bangladeshi supporters, as you can see. Their anxious and hopeful eyes, their hope. Their faith upon these little tigresses for them to wave that 
beautiful flag of Bangladesh in this beautiful arena of football in Lalitpur, Nepal. It's Alpi with the free kick. Alpi coming forward. Alpi Akhtar can be dangerous from these situations. A little more than 20 minutes left in the second half or perhaps the last 21 minutes. In less than 21 minutes here. Bangladesh has to fight back. And this moment can be that moment. There has been some problem in the T box, maybe. I mean, referee is sorting it out. And the referee has given the green light for the free kick. Alpi, this time, a dangerous cross there. Munni was forced to push it wide. You can see the replay. Alpi with a very low, low free kick. Munni was very lucky to avoid any calamity over there. She was trying to get the ball. She narrowly missed it. This is Anna Bithi with the cross ahead. That could be there. And it's a goal. The Bengal Tigresses fight back. And they bite back. This was coming. You could just tell it. You could just feel it in the air. And the supporters. They are elated. They are happy. Definitely they are. As we have a very very competitive match in our hands the Bengal Tigresses will be taking on the mighty Indian team in the last 20 minutes you can just see in the replay this was a touch there by the Bangladeshi player you can just confirm it's from Mariam Binta perhaps it doesn't matter the, the most thing, important thing that matters is the goal for the team so Ravi Akanda Preeti moving forward could have been a foul we have a wonderful final in our hands now the blue tigresses against the Bengal tigresses this is going to be one fiercy affair Perhaps was jersey number four, Mariam Bintahan Hanna, who brought her team ma back into this matchup. And it is going to be interesting. The last 18 minutes and seconds left for this match. And we can confirm it's Mariam Bintahana in the score sheet. What a moment to score a goal like for your country. In this age group, trying to move forward is Bangladesh once again. So Ravi lurking behind could be a dangerous situation there for the Indian defense. The momentum is with Bangladesh. Trying to move forward is the left inside. Bangladesh moving forward from the left. The spectators, the the followers, the supporters are in full voice from both sides, that is. The Bangladeshi supporters are in full voice as well. And this can be a dangerous scenario. Bangladesh move forward. A moment can bring a difference in this match it only needs one moment from any of these players Alpi tried to move forward it's going to be a free kick the referee from Nepal Maya Lama gives an advantage to the Bangladeshi team and it's Alpi again this time she leaves it for Pithi Anabiti. She is definitely another good set piece taker. 
with a strong right foot. She can change the tie upside down. Anna Mulmu Bithi. Definitely Bangladesh needs another moment. Another moment of class. Another moment which can change this matchup. Another shot here and straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. This time Munni. Caught it properly. You can see it in the replay. She was reading her powerful right foot. To the left inside for Shweta trying to move forward. 15 minutes and seconds left. India. Bangladesh trying to get the hands in the trophy. Anushka can be the defense maker once again. Anushka, she was the one who scored. Offside or yes, that's a free kick. This was. Munni was ready this time. She already conceded a goal from the set piece. She did not want to concede another. Just in a matter of 10 minutes. Anushka and Bonifilia are there. Bonifilia Shulai. Or maybe it's going to be Elena Devi. Elena wants to be. The difference maker. Elena with the shot just above the bar. Years and Begum was right there. Just look at the crowd. What more can you ask for from your supporters? Miles away from your country. And supporting these little girls who are representing their nation with the fire in their hearts. The Bangladeshi Tigers, Tigresses, as we can call them. They look wild in the second half. They have definitely been the best team, better team in the second half. Alpi with the pass there. Suravi. Suravi has been the target woman. And kindly subscribe to our channel, Sportsbooks YouTube channel, for more SAF, SAF contents for SAF football. This is definitely the place. Good control there by Suravi. Trying to find a teammate, Soravi Akanda Priti. Good touch there by Sati Munda. Anabiti switches on to the left inside for left winger. Umita. Umita with the cross and it's a corner. Good football there by the Bangladeshi little girls. This can be another moment. As Bangladesh scored from this exact set piece. A while ago. Good work there by Momita. Once again, it's Anna Bitti with the set piece. Anna with the cross. A shot there by Thuinui Marma. Indian girls are taken aback by the pace of the Bangladeshi players. They have been the better team, they have been the team in momentum. And they have that confidence. Thuinui with the ball. Pass there for Suravi Akanda Priti. Not a good clearance there by the Indian defender. Bonifilia Shulai. Trying to clear it wide as far as possible. 
Bangladesh are the team in momentum. Trying to move forward is the Bangladeshi team once again from the right hand side. It's going to be another attack which is cancelled off again. Once again, Bangladesh moving forward. Sati Munda was there. Sati with a good touch. Takes it away from the defender. On the right, India will come forward. Once again, Bangladesh moving forward from the left hand side. You can just know that they are fighting for every ball. Bangladesh can be dangerous here. Arpita Bishwas. And Abhiti loses it. Captain Arpita gains it back once again. Mariam, the goal scorer. Mariam Bintahanna. She has rescued her team from going into the abyss. Now Bangladesh moves forward once again. Momita from the left hand side. Momita with a good change of pace, but this time it was way too much, perhaps. You're watching this live from Sportsworks YouTube channel. You can kindly subscribe to this channel. India are in the back foot right now. They are definitely in the back foot. Trying to move forward is India now. Just to lose it to Bangladesh once again, or have they? Yes, it's going to be an attack from Bangladesh once again. So Ravi Priti. Beating the defenders with ease. So Ravi Priti. Ira Chanu in the team. Struggling to gain the possession of the ball. Less than nine minutes left. One of these two teams will get the hand on the trophy. Trying to move forward is India. From the left hand side, perhaps. Bangladesh comes forward. Moving forward is India. Nira Chanu. A through ball there. Gurleen comes forward. Gurleen gets the ball to Anishka. Anushka could have gone forward. Bangladesh fighting back once again. It's end-to-end -end football here at the Enfa Complex. Anushka could have gone clean through. Bangladesh have been resolute in the second half. They have not given the ball much to India to flourish as much as they have in the first half. Momita has been a dangerous force from the left hand side. She has been the creative force with her blistering pace and her physical presence. Once again, trying to move forward is Bangladesh from the right hand side. We are seven minutes left at the end of this match. And if that happens, 
we will be straightly going to the penalties. There will be no, no extra time, no added minutes. No added 30 minutes. We will be going to the penalties straight forward. Unless somebody scores here, yeah, Alpi looks to be the one. Alpi with the pass for Surabi. Trying to find uh, Surabi. Showing good brand of football there. The Bangladeshi women's team outnumbering their opponent in the opponent's half. Good pass there. And Nushka comes back to fight for it. Just in front of coach. Sefil Bariti too. He was not happy with that challenge. It's going to be another throw in. And a, another opportunity there for Bangladesh to come forward. It's a foul. Definitely a free kick. Looking for a card. The Indian players. Suravi Preeti brings her opponent down. And that is Elena Devi. Who's down on her knees. She's not in the proper state. Perhaps she's not. proper condition you can just see what happened oh that was not a good landing that is a bad landing to have in a hard surface like this and you can definitely see why Elena Devi is in so much agony five minutes or less than five minutes left there will be minutes added but meanwhile Let's go see the goals, or perhaps the goal that was scored by Bangladesh. That was the delivery by the incoming substitute, Anna Murmubithi, with a wonderful bit of cross there. And that was jersey number four. Might have hit the Indian player as well, but we will just confirm that. But then again, it's the Indian goal, Indian deficit that is a goal is given to Elena I beg your pardon a goal in goal is given to Mariam Bintahana the jersey number four of Bangladesh could have been an opportunity once again Bangladesh moving forward this can be dangerous Anushka trying to move forward is Anushka Kumari passing on to Neera Chanu in the channel side Neera Chanu coming good touch there Neera Switches on for a cross. Can be dangerous. Could lead. Can be an opportunity for India. But a good bit of defending there by the Bangladeshi defender Anushka. Anushka with the shot once again. Straight into the hands of Yerzan Begum. She collects it comfortably. Little more than 26,000 people are watching our YouTube channel. We would like to thank you, everyone, who have been the part of our broadcast hope you're enjoying this match and if you want to see more games like this more broadcasts like this from the south region you can kindly subscribe to our channel that is sportsworks youtube channel and now it's going to be a throw in a substitution incoming player is anvita raghuraman so Ravi Akanda Preeti might be the difference maker once again. So Ravi, oh, that could have been the killer blow for India. Anushka. The two players in their respective ends, in their respective positions, are trying to create havoc. Alpi. Trying to find a teammate. Bangladesh. Look to be the stronger team here. Play on, says the referee. 
The players have to play with the referee's whistle, otherwise they can be punished. Not a good time to lose your concentration in the last minute. It's going to be Bangladesh with the attack. Easy collection there by the goalkeeper Munni. Less than one minute. There will be minutes added. Might be a good number as well. And this can be a problem there for years and she clears it. Good touch there by Bonifila Shulai. Switches on to the right hand side. Anushka Anushka Kumari Could have been a nice pass but it goes wide So Ravi Akanda Preeti moves forward So Ravi goes down And now it's going to be a goal kick for India Just to let our viewers know, it's going to be the penalties if the 90 minutes or the added times cannot decide. And it's going to be there will be three minutes, three minutes added added time. at a time. Three minutes. Three minutes. The teams have to find the difference. So Ravi Akanda Preeti finds Alpi. Could have been dangerous for the Bangladeshi team. A shot there by Anna, Mit Anna Bitti Murmu. She can find the goalpost. Goes way wide. Can there be a goal or will we go to the penalties? That's gonna be interesting. There was a penalty shootout in 2019 where India were the champions in 2019 under 15 sir. Anushka Kumari going forward. Anushka once again. Anushka going forward. With a blistering pace, like a flash, the number nine. The other number nine gets the ball now, Alpi. And Divyani does her work properly. Alpi goes forward now. Alpi with the pass for Suravi Preeti, could be dangerous. Anushka can be dangerous, dangerous from here. Anushka Kumari, dazzling past the defenders. Once again, India get the ball. The last one and a half minutes. Across there, to the right hand side, Anushka Kumari gets the ball. Anushka with the cross here. Cleared there by the Bangladeshi defender. Maybe the last chance for the Bangladesh team to go forward. Mumita. She looks tired. Mumita Khatun. This is going to be a throw in. Mumita once again from the left wing. Alpi. The players are losing their stamina. Mumita with the pass here. Suravi Akanda Preeti. Suravi could have been there. Once again, Suravi gets the ball, finds a teammate. This can be an attack from Bangladesh. Can be a killer blow. Mumita Khatun from the left inside. Mumita with the cross. Which was blocked there. 30 seconds left in the match. Bangladesh can move forward once again. The flag has been raised. And it's going to be a free kick for England. India, I beg your pardon, might have been carried on in the moment. Everything is happening here. Everything. You have to say in a moment like this, even the commentators get nervous. Once again, yes, this can be the opportunity here. And now this is interesting. This is interesting, ladies and gentlemen. The substitute goalkeeper is coming on. It is Suraj Muni Kumari who lost her place to Muni after the match against Bangladesh. And this, this is as interesting as it could get. India going forward. 30 minutes gone from the added. Three minutes here. 
can be dangerous. India looking for an opportunity to pounce on. Once again, left hand side, it's Alpi. Going forward is India. Across there by Momita. This can be a dangerous scenario there for India as they move behind and this is the final whistle. The 90 minutes couldn't decide the winner. We will be going to the penalty shootout once again. And as we know, these two sides have played one tournament in this calendar only, which has been one of the most memorable moments in South football. Hopefully, we will find the winner soon. 90 minutes couldn't separate the two sides and this time it's going to be a penalty shootout. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for the penalties of the South Under-16 Women's Championship 2024. And this has been a feisty affair. The last time the, these two sides met where was in the uh, 5th of March of this tournament, which was the group stage match between Bangladesh and India, where Bangladesh won the match 3-1. Suravi Preeti scored the goal. And this is the first goal of the match by none other than the flash from India and Nushka what a goal that was the very very first goal just to start the momentum of Indian team but in the second half Bangladeshi girls replied with this this was a delicate touch thereby a very very crucial touch for that matter Mariam scored the goal rescued her team from going down and now it's the penalties once again how many times we have to go to the penalties to get the dec decider between these two teams in this age group it was 2019 where there was a nil nil draw between Bangladesh and India the match with which happened in 15th of October in 2019's under 15 staff which was in Bhutan and India were the victors. They won on penalties. In the under-17 tournament in 2023, Bangladesh were the victors. In fact, India has not won once in the last three, t last three fixtures in this age group. In 2024, Bangladesh with the victors, as, as you know, Bangladesh won the match in the group stage. That was the 5th of March. And then, in 2023, Bangladesh once again won. one nil against India. In 2019, there was a 1-1 draw. Which happened in the group stage. And... In 2019 only, there were two matches between the two teams as one was in the group stage and one was in the final. And 
both of the matches were a level match as in Bangladesh scored one and India scored one in the group stage it was a 1-1 draw the Bangladesh team didn't score anything neither did the Indian team in the 15th October match which was the final match of the 2019 edition They have not been able to beat in the regular 90 minutes. The Indian team, they have to go. They have to go to the penalties or draw against Bangladesh. The last time Bangladesh were beaten by India was in 2018. In the 90 minutes, India were the victors. 1-0. That was the under-15 SAF event. And now we begin the final battle between the players the tiebreaker this can be differentiating factor it's Suravi who couldn't score a golden goal moment this is Suravi and a save that is a wonderful save there by Shuras Muni Kumari. The very, very first attempt there by the Bangladeshi player. Suravi Akandapriti is denied by Shuras Muni Kumari, who was brought in in the very last minute of the regular 90 minutes. In fact, in the extra time, in the additional minutes, she was brought in for Muni, and she does this. And now it's the captain of the Indian team, Shweta, with the shot and she scores it's the first for the indian team the first in the final india go ahead and bangladesh may be in a big big problem here shweta with a cool composed finish she didn't have any problem converting this years in, was stranded and this time it's bangladesh once again and it's Going to be the goal scorer who scored the equalizer for Bangladesh, Mariam Bintahana. Can she do it again? Mariam with the shot, and this time she scores. Suraj Muni was ever so close to save another. He was straight. He was right in the middle. Suraj Muni went a little bit. Further to the right hand side of hers, and now it's Elena Devi. Second opportunity for India. Elena, and that's a save. Wonderful hands there by Years and Vega. What a save there by the goalkeeper. This is going to be quite a fight. This is going to be quite a war in the final. Disappointed is the centre back, Elena Devi. What a game we have, what a final we have, and what a save it was. A beautiful moment there for the Bangladeshi keeper, Yersen Begum, once again saves her team from going behind. And it's now Thuinui Marma, the one who came. And this is a goal for Bangladesh. The jersey number 10 justifies her jersey number, and that's why she's given the number 10, Thuinui Marma. She also played the match against India in the 2023 edition. And she shows her experience. Cool and composed and calm. Bangladesh go in front for the first time. And now. Bonifilia Shulai. Bonifilia Shulai. And it's saved. My goodness. What a game. What a save once again. Years and Begum. Bonifilia Shulai was disappointed. Inches. Inches away. Years and Begum. Saves it again. Alpi Akhtar with the attempt 
Alpi with a shot this time and this time it's disappointed. Alpi once again. She misses. Alpi misses. What a game of football. It's a miss. It's now once again India. It's the incoming player Anvita Raguraman who has come in for this moment only. Anvita show scores it. Scores India. It's 2-2. It's another goal. We might have some problem in the technical area, but be confirmed. It's leveled up match here. This is a quite an interesting battle here. Once again, it's Bangladesh coming forward. It's now number seven with the shot and it's a goal. Bangladesh leads again. And this is going to be dangerous. This is going to be a heart pumping, nervous moment there for the Indian player. She has to score otherwise Bangladesh might just nick it in the final moment. This is the Vianney Linda. She has to score now. The Vianney, the right back, comes forward now. And it's a shot, and it's a save. And it is the trophy for Bangladesh. Years and Biga. What? an act of bravery what an act of heroic there by the goalkeeper Divyani Linda who could have been the savior misses it and the Bengali Tigers the Tigresses have nicked it at the very end at the very climax at the very end of this match this was some game this was some moment look at the Bangladeshi players look what it means to these little girls this is the future of Bangladeshi football Bangladesh be happy be very happy you have these girls representing your country and you have to feel sorry for these little Indian players, they gave everything. They gave absolutely everything. And now it's a celebration for the Bangladeshi team. Wonderful moments, wonderful scenes here at the Anfa complex. Keep your heads high, the Indian girls. You have done a lot. You have made your country proud. You have given everything. This happens. This happens in football. This is football for you, ladies. This happens. And you have to praise the Bangladeshi Tigresses. They showed their bravery. They showed their character. And they show what they are made of. The celebrations are upon us. They have done it once again. They have got their second title. Bangladesh, who were the runners up in 2023, they were just behind Russia in the 2023 edition. And the famous Bangladeshi flag waving at the Enfa complex. Look at that joy. That is. A beautiful, beautiful view that the Bangladeshi football is showing in Nepal.
Sportsworks is bringing you this live broadcast from Enfa Complex and we are bringing you this beautiful scene one of a kind moment for Bangladeshi women's football as they clinch their second title in this youth rankings this is the under 16 level as they have won another title of the SAF under 16 women's championship and this time in Nepal they have traveled a long long way for this victory the victory lap is going to be as joyous the final summit years and Begum look at her look what it means to her she has done it and these young girls have every right to be happy to be, to be elated to enjoy every moment in this in this beautiful beautiful moment for them and it's a beautiful moment for AKM Saiful Bedi T2 as well he has led this side with experience they were down they were one goal down they came back they fought till the end and look at them we love a Bangladeshi football for a reason that is without any doubt They collect themselves again for another battle, for another war in the days to come as they move forward. And in this age group, they are at the summit. They are at the absolute peak, the Bangladeshi team. The coaches have done their job as well. The coaches with every bit the officiating team I think the message is going to Bangladesh they are enjoying every bit of it every moment of it what a moment for them what a moment for Bangladeshi football for the girls for a country who has their hope hopes upon these young girls to make it to the top one day they have done it in the subcontinental region in the days to come these stars will be shining even more brighter to make their country proud the Bangladeshi girls have done it they have passed the final hurdle the final test it's the full time as well as the penalty shootouts Bangladesh and India had a 1-1 draw in the 90 minutes they want went on to the penalties and India were beaten by Bangladesh in the penalties and that was the outcome ladies and gentlemen we are live from Sportsworks shortly we will be starting the presentation and as we see the thankful girls of Bangladesh thanking their crowd it's a beautiful moment to say goodbye from this divine stick which is in my hand right now. Thank you everyone. It, was been, it has been a wonderful time here in the commentary box. A wonderful time doing the broadcast, the commentary of this wonderful tournament, being the part of this tournament. And it's me Avinam signing off. We will be bringing you the presentation shortly after this break thank you and goodbye oh, the test. One, two, three. Good.
नमस्कार साउथ ऑफ द सिक्सटीन वुमेन्स चैंपियनशिप 2024 को पुरस्कार वितरण समारोह में हार्दिक स्वागत है Namaste ladies and gentlemen what a football and extravaganza this has been in Karnataka under 16 here in the Anfa Complex Stadium Kathmandu welcome to the post match presentation ceremony As we are samapan samaroh ka pramukh atithi mananiya yuva tatha khel khud mantri Avantrain ka chance इसी के लिए मौखिल नेपाल फुटबॉल संघ का अध्यक्ष एवं एशियाली फुटबॉल महासंघ का कार्यकारी निर्देशक पंकज बेकर ने मांगजुलाई पौधे मामंत्रण करने चाहते हैं इसी के लिए साउथ ईशन फुटबॉल फेडरेशन का उपाध्यक्ष सुंदर दर्शन जोशी जी हूँ लाइकवाइज साउथ जनरल सेक्रेटरी मिस्टर अनुरूल हक सिगरी एनफा बहासोची उनका निशान सु जेंटलमैन फॉर द पोस्ट मैच प्रेजेंटेशन सेरेमनी वी आर ऑनर टू हैव आवर चीफ गेस्ट ऑनरेबल श्रेष्ठ अलोंग हेड ऑफ ऑल नेपाल फुटबॉल एसोसिएशन मिस्टर पंकज बेकरा नेमा जॉइनिंग अस इज आल्सो द सैफ वाइस प्रेसिडेंट Joshi, along with the South General Secretary, Mr. Anwarul Unhaq, joining us in the podium for the Ambassador of Bangladesh to Nepal, His Excellency Nobhan Chaudhary, and the Anfa General Secretary, Mr. Kiran Rai. Let's proceed with the awards. We begin with the presentation to the Minister. May I request? Ladies and gentlemen before the awards we begin with a token of appreciation that will be given by the staff general secretary Mr Anwarul Haq to the president of all Nepal football association Mr Pankaj for all the technical support that we have received during the staff under 16 women's championship 2024 Of the PCSN commemorative award presentation to the match officials, may request Mr. Anwarul Haq, Staff General Secretary, to give away the token of appreciation. May request Master Mr. Mr. Bindu Dorji. Bina Nawache Swasta. Referees Mira Tamam Referee Maya Lama Assistant Referees Sonam Paldin and Marina Dimal As we celebrate the spirit of football we also celebrate Who make sure that every game is run smoothly without any interruptions? So thank you to all our officials. We now move on to the fair play award and to give away the award, I would like to request the Anpan, Mr. Kiran Rai. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the fair play award is Team Bhutan. To receive the award, I would like to request referee Mira Tamang. Received in their honor the Fair Play Award of South Under 16 Women's Championship 2024. Chill me, Fair Play Award Pradhan Gurde Hunusa, Fair Team Raikusa, Team Bhutan. Bhutan Gurde Prabhat, Referee 
Nibata Mangle Award received Gadu Bhai Kaja. The next award is the highest goal scorer award and to give away the award we would like to request the ambassador of Bangladesh Nepal His Excellency Salaudi Noman Chaudhary. The highest goal scorer award goes to number nine from Team India, Nushka Kumari. With six goals in the tournament. Anushka Kumari from Team India, jersey number nine with six goals in SAF on the championship. What a pride it is to have this award for a team for the country. Now, the most valuable player award. SAF on the 60 Women's Champions in 2024. The most valuable player award. So Mary Craft and for president, also an executive member of Asian Football Confederation, Mr. Pankas Nemwal, to do the honor, please. The most valuable award goes to Jersey number 20 of Bangladesh, Saudi Akanda Priti. Champions Bangladesh is all cheers for the MVP Sauravi Akhandapriti. The most valuable player of the competition is awarded to the player who has shown excellence in play and her overall contribution to the team during the entire. Congratulations, Sauravi. Congratulations, Bangladesh. <laughs> And to do the honors to present the award, may I request the South Vice President, Mr. Sundar Narsing Joshi, to please step forward. The best goalkeeper award goes to... I see some anticipation. Number 22, MSC Yezam David from Bangladesh. Congratulations. The best goalkeeper of South under 16 Women's Championship 2024, MSC Yerzan Begum from Bangladesh. Staff on the 16 Women's Championship 2024 to Team Team India ka sapura khelari Santo medal Grand Kalagi. What a celebration this has been in a course of 10 days. Mandu Nepal will very glad and eager to host the South Under-16 Women's Championship here in the Anfa Complex Stadium. We now request Team India to please come forward to receive their runners-up trophy with four teams in the tournament. Definitely the competition was not easy, but congratulations, Team India. Number 22, number one, jersey number one, Mundi. Mundi. Jersey number 11, Shweta Rani, the team captain. Jersey number 2, Vivyani Linda. Jersey number 3, Alina Devi Sangranthen. Jersey number 4, Elizabeth Lakra. Jersey number 5, Rupa Sri Bunda. Jersey number 6, Tanda Modi Baske. Jersey number 8, Goni Filia Shulia. Jersey number 9, Anushka Kari. Jersey number 10, Longa Jam Nira Chanu Nira Chanu. Jersey number 14, Pearl Fernandez. 
Jersey number seven, Yashika Haribabu. Jersey number 12, Rihanna Liz Jacob. Jersey number 13, Tampasana Devi. Jersey number 15, Anvita Raghuraman. Jersey number 16, Ritu Badai. Jersey number 18, Gurleen Kaur Sidhu. Jersey number 19, Anita Dundu. Jersey number 20, Gauri. Number 21, Gurnaz Kaur. Jersey number 22, Amrita Ghosh. And Jersey number 23, Suraj Muni Kumari. Let's also welcome the head coach, Bibi Thomas Mutha. The assistant coach, Niveta Ramadas. Team manager, Maria Rosie Rosalina Rocha. Goalkeeping coach, Jasmeet Singh. Physiotherapist, Disha Dashrat. Media officer, Akhil Rawat. And video analyst, Prasad R. Karve. Team India, the runners-up team of the South Under-16 Women's Championship 2024. Abhami is South on the 16 Women's Championship 2024 Co. Vijeta team I medal pradan karte so the champion team like us a team Bangladesh Ma Pramukati thi Manania Yuvata Thakir Dhuj Mantri Diraz Bhakta Swasta Jolai Anurud Gana Chanchu Vijeta team ka Khilari Havlai medal pradan karte din hona kalagi Na soyo kalagi anna prasish dati thi jiwaru lai pani and we'll get a chance to. All right, let's welcome our champions. Number 22, MSC Yersin Bagan, the goalkeeper. Number Big five. Captain. Arpita Biswas, Arpita. Shuli Roy. Arifa Akhtar. Maryam Binta Hanna. Kranuching Barma, Sati Munda, Alpi Akhtar, Thuinoi Marma, Fatima Akhtar, Sarabhi Akhanda Peti, Megla Rani Roy, Umma Kulsum, Sumi, Bishti Roy, Almina, Puja Chakma, Mamita Khatun, Taspiya Khatun, Ananna Murmu Piti, Tania Akhtar Fomi, Respe Akhtar, Sotna Akhtar Jili, Head Coach Saiful Bari Titu, Assistant Coach Mahatabur Rahman Litu, Assistant Coach Mirona, Team Manager, Amirul Islam, Goki Picos, Arifu Rahman Pannu, Physiotherapist, Laiju Yasmin Lipa, Media Officer, Khalid Mahmood. Congratulations, Team Bangladesh, the champions. <laughs> What a journey, a beautiful one this has been for these young players, these young girls who aspire to do great in this beautiful game football. Congratulations, Team Bangladesh. Abahami, Akhil Nepal Football, Sankut Asabata. Promokati Ti Jula Gatanya, this is the Ti Jula Maya Kuchino Pradan Gartai Zone. Akhil Nepal for 
Sanka Kiekşe, Bonneş Yeli Futbol, Mahasanka Harika bir insadaşı. Pankız Bekir de Muangçı olay. Azı Guhamur Yıl Samapın Samarok'a. Promo Kadifi, Bananiye Yuvat Ata Kiel Kürt Mantri, Firaz Bak, The Stress of July. Maya Kuchin o kadar dolu dünyanın kalagi, Bonneş Yeli Futbol'a dönüşen şu. So ladies and gentlemen, this was the SAF under 16. Under 16 Women's Championship in Lalitpur. And we have the winner already. Bangladesh won 3-2 on penalties. The regular 90 minutes there was a 1-1 draw between India and Bangladesh. India scored the very first goal in the first five minutes with Anushka's banger. But then Mariam Bintahana scored the equalizer in the dying minutes. Member of and it AFC was the tiebreaker to decide the champion as you can see this beautiful trophy the feat is with Bangladesh's side today they were the better team in the second half as they were pushing forward and to make the final goal as you can see the beautiful beautiful trophy being in India being the shining trophy is ready to be lifted by given to the Young girls, the bright stars of Bangladeshi football. Arshita Biswas, Arshita to collect the trophy from our chief guest, Honorable Minister of Youth and Sports, Mr. Viraj Rakeshwarsa, to hand over the trophy along with our president of Youth and Sports. will be handing over this beautiful trophy to the Bangladeshi team, and we have the champions. The winners, and it's Bangladesh. The champions of the SAF Under 16 Women's Championship. Lalitpur. Congratulations, team. They are the champions this time around. They deserve every bit of it, every single member of this Bangladesh team. The trophy deserve, deserves to each and every one of them. And it deserves to each and every girl who has this hope in making to the very top of the SAF Women's Championship to making a name in football. That is why we love this beautiful, beautiful game. It brings us to the unexpected. Maybe they were a little bit more fortunate, but let's say The fortune favors the brave and the well, Bengali Tigresses have been the brave ones today. They have been the one with character picture, today. Okay? And they have proved All once right. again that they are one of the best, if not the very best. And they have been the champions this time. They Here are at the absolute top of the youth level of SAF Women's Championship. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, Bangladesh won 3-2 on penalties. That was the final score in penalties. Before that, there was a 1-1 draw. And India missed the final penalty. This is the SAF Under-16 Women's Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a privilege being here in the commentary box. It was a wonderful moment for me, for each and every member of the broadcast team. I would like to thank... SP especially for being in the direction as well as a lot of other our crew members, the camera team. We would like to th thank all the members of this event, the organizing team. So with this, we have come to this events and we will be bringing you lots of other broadcasts in coming days as, as well. Until then, it's Avinav and Sportsworks team bidding you goodbye. Till then, it's good night and bye-bye.